Prince Harry recently got called out for his less than satisfactory fiscal closing with Travel is Limited. This call out has been issued by Royley Blunt's Twitter page and comes shortly after it was revealed that Travel is Limited ended the fiscal year with an account of £11,538. There is £106,537 cash in total, with almost £241,433 that is available at hand for the prince. But he owes nearly £336,432 as debt payoffs to creditors. In response to these findings, the Twitter page hit back at the Royal with a claim that read, Oh but of course. We weren't expecting anything more from Travelist. He says it's travel plus catalyst, I say it's travel plus a list. They also went on to suggest that Prince Harry No. 6 needs to stop fooling himself, drop the sustainable since he can't hack it, buy a couple of private jets and rent it out to A-list celebrities. Christine Freeby said, it's the salaries and expenses that tell the tale. How much money was funneled in and then out of Travelist? 300k plus in debt was paid to who? The director? The news has split users on social media with some defending the Duke of Sussex, and others highly critical, including on Twitter user who urged him to stop fooling himself. Travelist, which was launched in 2019, is a non-profit organization working to identify, and help bring about, the systemic changes needed in order for sustainable travel to be taken out of the niche, and into the mainstream. However, another Twitter user referring to themselves as Jakarta200887 was more sympathetic, posting, in his defense. This is not exactly a great time to launch anything in the travel business, there is a global pandemic going on and almost all travel businesses are struggling. Meanwhile, Mary McNabb Connell pointed out, year one accounts usually show a deficit. However, a plus figure in a global pandemic can't really be classified as a failure. In January, Travelist published a report entitled The Reemergence of Travel earlier this year which featured a foreword by Prince Harry himself. In it, he said, we launched Travelist in September 2019 to take sustainable tourism out of its niche and into the mainstream, to protect destinations, support and empower communities, and safeguard critical ecosystems and wildlife, and the people who depend on them. Which, as we're now learning, matters to every single one of us. Our mission soldiers on, and we believe is more important than ever as we all navigate an extraordinarily challenging recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. In May, a report published by the Charities Commission concluded that the charity MWX Foundation, formerly known as Sussex Royal, the foundation, did not act outside charity law in transferring funds to Travelist. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have pumped thousands of pounds originating from a royal charity into a limited company owned by the Duke. The couple's non-profit organization Sussex Royal and Sustainable Travel Initiative Travelist received a huge payout last year from the charity they ran with Prince William and Kate Middleton. The Royal Foundation was jointly run by the Cambridges and Sussexes, until Meghan and Harry split from it last summer, and finalizing that separation involved a payout to the Sussexes' own charities. An unrestricted grant of £145,000 was given to Sussex Royal to facilitate the setup of the new charity and £144,901 of grants were paid to Travelist. After the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior royals, they were instructed not to continue using the Sussex Royal brand and the decision was made for the Sussex Royal Foundation to shut down and make way for their new project, Archul. However, the launch of Archul has reportedly been delayed to next year and the couple are said to be focusing their efforts on the Black Lives Matter movement and the coronavirus pandemic. Now, all Sussex Royal funds will be transferred to Harry's Sustainable Tourism Initiative, Travelist. Travelist was registered as a limited company on April 3 this year and has not been registered with the Charity Commission.